Hello everyone, my name's Pavlos. And my name is Sarah. In this short video, and with the help of Andrew Thurgood on the violin and a few young musicians, we're going to introduce you to one of the most beautiful family of instruments in the orchestra, the string family. The string family, like any family, consists of members of all shapes and sizes and ages. We have the double bass, which is like the grandfather of the family. Then there's the cello, which is, let's say, like the dad. Then we have the beautiful viola, which is mum. Let's not forget the little child of the family, the violin. Throughout this video, we might be interrupted by this sound where we're going to be answering questions that we are always asked when we go and do concerts. Andrew is going to be showing you all sorts of wonderful things about the upper part of the family, the violins and the violas, but myself and Sara will be dealing with the lower end, the cellos and the double basses. Here we go. Is a cello. The cello is this beautiful instrument. It's made of wood. It's got a score. It's got pegs so we can tune it. It's got four strings which is why it's got four pegs. It's got a fingerboard which is where we put our fingers to play. It's got a bridge here to hold the strings and it's got the tail and then it's got a spike as well um, so we play the cello sitting down and we also use a bow which is made of wood and holds hair so when we play it's this kind of sound <laughs> Although it doesn't have to always be, it can be also um, very different. I mean, we use the cello for so many different things, as you'll find out. Do you always use a bow? We don't always play with our bow, we can pluck as well. When we pluck, we call this pizzicato. So here are the four strings of the cello. The highest string is the A, then we've got the D, the G, and the C is a very low one. So this is as low as we can go as cellists. So we can go high as well. big and tall to play the cello? Although the cello is quite a big instrument, um, you don't have to be big to play it. Um, we have all the sizes, well we've got lots of sizes, so we've got really teeny teeny tiny cellos for very young children and then we've got quarter size, then we've got half size and three quarter sizes and this is the full size cello that adults and usually teenagers are using but you can start the cello at any age.
So this is my double bass. It's the largest instrument in the orchestra string section. Now double basses can sometimes have five strings, but this one has four. It, it has the G string, the D string, the A string, and the E string, which is the lowest string. And I can play the double bass by using my hands to, to pull the strings, like this, with pits, or I could bow the strings with my bow that's here. were you when you started the cello? I was just five and a half years old when I got my first instrument and started learning the cello. It was a tiny little instrument about this big that looked more like a slightly fat and overfed violin. I'm often asked why did I start learning the cello? Well there are many reasons. My father was a cellist, so I was surrounded by music and especially cello playing every day of my life from the moment I was born. But I heard it in many different contexts. I heard it in jazz music. I heard the cello in pop music. I heard it in world music and all sorts of different types of music, which is one of the reasons I love the cello to this day. You can play in any style if you want to. But what really made me want to learn was a very particular piece of music. Um, uh, my father, as I said, was a cellist and I was woken up every day by him playing music by a composer called Bach. It was his way of sort of starting the day and waking up in the morning. And I'd just like to share that with you. And this is the reason I started learning the cello. I was so desperate from a little boy to learn. drifting through the floorboards up into my room. You said there were lots of reasons you started learning the cello. Can you name one more? One of the other reasons I love the cello is that you can play around with it and make all sorts of interesting sounds. As Sarah mentioned, it can sound very soulful and it's very close to the human voice. But there are hundreds of other sounds you can make, make on it. And um, uh, film composers have often used this on the cello, not just for the beautiful tunes, but for other sort of effects. See if you can guess some of these. Ten second countdown to guess.
You can also use a cello to imitate other instruments. Of course we could talk about the cello all day, but that's all we have time for today. We hope you enjoyed the video and we also hope that you might be encouraged to want to find out a little bit more about the cello and about music generally. And if you are interested, there's no better way than convincing your parents to take you to a live concert if you can. And if you can't, nowadays we have amazing resources like uh, YouTube and you can find any kind of performance with a cello on there. So do take time to have a look and maybe that will help you decide if you want to take things further with a cello. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.